Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Yeah, 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 sir, of course. Oh, I didn't realize who you was. Your blood runs quicker, feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Saved! A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> we mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coat... My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. I appreciate it greatly, but I can no longer keep you in the dark. You have to know who I was, what I am, and what one might call a... Such was my skill. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. I am. We enjoyed it. You see, no matter how... Mistra, I sought to cross her boundaries. Though not a, a try. We come now to the crux of my folly. Very well. Once upon a very long time ago, um, I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could be he almost managed, but not quite. the magic that was unleashed that even the weave itself. She restored the weave. What if? I thought. What if? After all this time. I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess. I certainly thought I was certain I was mistaken. They obtained the f here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth 
its claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. What is it? What do you see? I'm sorry, but I had to. After all, this is only the beginning. This netherese blight, this all. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, remains quiet. Were it ever, I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of netherese magic, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as... With a bit of... wouldn't be a heroic end, but coarsely poetic enough in its justice. That is... A, you truly are a... I thank you all. I stand out of... Now. Chill runs down your spine. Lady Shah's twin and nemesis, the moon goddess Saluna, was once worshipped here. Yet this place clearly fell to ruins long before goblins infested it. You silently swear. on the other side. Nobody's going to push us around anymore.
main eye was looking at me all strange. Right. What would some drow wizard in Moonrise want to look at you for? That's curious. I'll fit through there. I don't think I'll fit through there. chance I'll fit through that. Better get to work.
felt so strong. Mm. Smells like burnt flesh in here. Keep a secret like that from his friends. Oh, yeah. The scrying eye was looking at me. Well met. Not so enchanted. Fathers, he made a name. <laughs> I spent. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. <clears throat> it's been a badger's age. Tempting. <laughs> uh, give it some time. Develop. Ready yet? I'm hungry. Orders were to stand. 